Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. As we, you know, as we are going through all that, you know, there is another lie that has been going on where, you know, you people say, no, 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 they are fixing, they are fixing, they are paying debt, they are paying debt. Which debt are you paying? Because the major debt that we talk about, the euro bond and whatever uh, other debt that we talk about, you people, you are not paying. That debt restructuring that you have clinched, which you were dancing, you are celebrating, that debt restructuring means nothing but simply suspending the payment of debt. That debt restructuring, it doesn't mean anything but suspension of not paying debt and borrowing more. And so far, these people, they have borrowed more money. I told you earlier, I told you before that these people have borrowed up to about 5 billion within a space of 2 years. Within a space of 2 years, they have borrowed about 5 billion. And the minister confirmed it. The minister confirmed it. He was on the on the, uh, what is this, uh, Sunday interview. And he confirmed that yes, they have borrowed money. They have borrowed. The minister did not dispute. Whether he was number pressing or whatever. No. The country is worse off where we are now than where Ed Galungu left it. The country is worse off in every aspect. There is nowhere where you can tell me to say, no, we are better off in here. Where? We are better off in what? We are better off in what? In Congo, we have bigger uh, uh, debt stock now than what we had during Edgar Lungo. So what is, it, what is this Haka in the HDMI fixing? What is uh, this Haka in the HDMI fixing? Debt has increased instead of reducing. So, mule kukula nda pali debt at you, debt mountain, debt mountain. Mule kukula nda pali debt mountain because you have increased the debt stock. You have increased the mountain. Vahaka in the HMI, no, no. A moratorium, we put a moratorium. A moratorium, when we come in power, where you have been borrowing and you have increased the debt stock. So, how better off are we? How better off are we with Vaka in the HDMI? What is he fixing? Yeah, debt mountain, debt mountain. You are not paying. And you are borrowing more. And you are going to borrow more, even from this IMF. You are going to borrow more money. Vaka in the HDMI will leave the country in, 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 in more debt than what Edgar Lungu did. So, Nigonga, 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 these are all lies, really. These are all lies. We are worse off as a country, we are worse off now than when than where we, we were during the time of Edgar. We were worse, we are worse off. And this is why. I mean, some of us are now saying, no, let Edgar Lungu come back. Let Edgar Lungu come back. Why we are saying Edgar Lungu to come back? It's because things were better off then. Things were better off. Even when you are messing up the country, so we are saying, let Ed Garungu come back. And we are saying, let Ed Garungu come back because Ed Garungu has the experience. At least. We don't want to, I'm a trial and error. So let Ed Garungu come back because he has got the experience. But now, you want to buy Ed Garungu. You want to buy Ed Garungu. I received this information and it's very reliable. I want to tell you, mark my words, on the 8th of July, 
Mark this date, 8 July, 8 July. 8 July, people should go to the High Court and listen to the ruling. On 8 July, mark my word, 8 July, write this date, 8 July, 8 July. Mark, mark this one, 8 July. The Corn Court has been put under pressure that they should rule against the preliminaries. Now, let me explain to some of you who may not understand what is currently going on with the Edgar Lungu eligibility. The Edgar Lungu eligibility, uh, where we are coming from, a number of people went to court to ask if Edgar Lungu was eligible to contest in 2021. And this case was brought before court five times. Five times. You know, no, they have ruled, but Ngapa, uh, oh, no, let's go back. Oh, Ngapa, let's go back. And finally, a final decision was made that Edgar Lungu qualifies to contest the 2021 general elections. And that's how Edgar Lungu contested the elections in 2021. Because the court ruled that he's eligible. Unfortunately, now after UPND came into power, UPND engineered another litigation. UPND engineered another litigation. Don't even talk about that, that, that guy that they're using. No, it's UPND. They engineered another litigation where they are saying, no, Edgar Lungu shouldn't have contested in 2021. Because he was elected twice according to the old constitution. Edgar Lungu became president in the old constitution. In the, constitution. in the old constitution, it said you can only be elected twice. But in the new constitution, which was amended, it is saying that if you don't do more than three years, you, have not, you cannot say you have done a term, so you can actually contest. It is possible for somebody to contest three times. As long as those times when he saves, he has not saved more than three years. That is the new constitution. So these guys that come up, they say, no, no, no. Edgar Lungu came in as in the old constitution. And in the old constitution, they said only two, two terms. But the Corn Court did address this issue. When they were declaring that Edgar Lungu can stand in 2021, they did address this issue. They said Edgar Lungu was a transitional leader from the old constitution to the new constitution. And therefore, you have to decide where do you place Edgar Lungu? Do you put him in the old constitution or in the new constitution? And the court did rule that the new constitution will apply to Edgar Lungu. And that's how he contested in 2021. Now, by UPND, they have brought this issue before the Corn Court. And bef uh, their argument, they are saying, no, Edgar Lungu shouldn't have contested in 2021. For Edgar Lungu, it's finished. It's finished. He shouldn't contest again. But the lawyers for by Edgar Lungu, they are saying, this case was already adjudicated upon. It was already decided. And that's why Edgar Lungu stood in 2021. So why are we coming back to court to overturn the ruling of the Corn Court? And so this is a preliminary issue. They, they're saying, before we start arguing as to whether Edgar Lungu can contest or not, this issue has already been decided upon. We don't need to go into it. We don't need to open a case that is already closed. So it is a preliminary matter. And if the judges are true to the justice that they swore to uphold or to dispense, judges should be able to say this case has already been dealt with. It Because it has already been dealt with. But unfortunately, there is pressure now coming in on the judges that the judges should rule to say, no, let's hear the arguments. 
the lawyers to Ed Galu, they are saying, why should we go to the arguments? Because these arguments were already argued and decided upon. We don't need to go to the arguments. But the State House is pushing Concord to say, no, you should allow the arguments. You should reopen the case. And this is what is coming on the 8th of July. The Concord is being pursued, is being pushed to open a case that was closed. Instead of throwing it away to say this case was already adjudicated upon five times, we cannot look at it. But they are telling our judges, no, 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 at least allow the arguments. That's what they are saying. They are saying, no, these are just arguments. At least allow the arguments. Don't dismiss it now. That's what they are telling our judges. At least allow the arguments. In other words, at least, you know, reopen the case. A case which was already adjudicated upon. As I'm talking, Ama judges, they are under pressure. Of course, those who are under pressure are those that are not their cadres. Their cadres, like Wamunarula, they are the ones that are going around to make sure that this, uh, uh, this ruling goes in, in favor, goes according to Haka Inde Ichirema, basically. It's a ruling according to Haka Inde Ichirema. The ruling that is coming on the 8th is a ruling against him, is according to Haka Inde Ichirema. What Haka Inde Ichirema wants, not what justice wants. And you know, some of you, you might say, no, no, Tari talks too much and whatever, whatever. But this is what is happening in the, in the country. When we say that our democracy is being wiped out, this is what we are talking about, where the institutions of governance are being compromised. Where Haka Inde Ichilema has become everything. That is dictatorship. It's the same thing with the issue of JJ. Where, you know, because Haka Inde Ichilema has decided, JJ must go in. No, the case was adjudicated upon. The case is closed. No, Haka Inde Ichilema says, let it go on. It's the same thing that they are doing to the Concord. Muke Sanjeva Pano, 8th June, mark my words, 8th June, Muke Sanjeva. 8th June, Haka in the HDMI is saying, let the case go on. Just like who? On the issue of JJ. JJ's case is closed. But no, Haka in the HDMI says, no, it should go on. And it is going on. JJ is inside for aggravated robbery. Even on this one, he's saying, no, the case should go on. And they want to go on with that case. Once they start arguing, they want to go on with it until just before 2026. Just before 2026. And then they will come and bar Edgar Lungo. Because they don't want to make it to, 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 to finish it quickly. Because if they finish it quickly, it, it may bring complications to the election of Haka in the HDMI himself. It may bring confusion. So they will allow the preliminary to go on. They will allow the, the, the main case to go on. And then they will prolong it. Whilst the Haka in the HDMI is ruling. Then, just before the elections, they will come and bar Edgar Lungo. So that Haka in the HDMI can go alone. Because by... By uh, without any any iota of doubt, be, be, uh, without any ounce of doubt, the person that they are scared of is Edgar Chagualongo. This is the person that they are scared of. Haka Inde Ichinema is scared of Edgar Chagualongo. At the moment, Edgar Chagualongo is winning against Haka Inde Ichinema in every respect. In terms of what he did, in terms of public uh, goodwill, in terms of support, Haka Inde Ichirema is not coming anywhere close to Edgar Lungo. And the only way the UPND have seen that they can stop Edgar Lungo is by burying him using the Concord. 
So they are doing everything to bar Ed Galungu using the, the corn court. Now there are two important issues that I want to throw to you or challenges. Number one, the challenges to the, to the judges. What message are you going to be sending about the uh, uh, about yourselves to start with about yourselves as judges what message are you going to be sending that you can fall for you can fall uh, to the whims of a politician a politician who is not even reasonable is not is not being reasonable here who has no respect for our, for our democracy who has no respect for our constitution who has no respect for our judiciary you want to stoop that law to go to Haka in the Ichilema's level and do as he wants you to do. What, what credibility are you going to reserve for yourselves to start with? Then secondly, what about the institutions of governance, the judiciary? Where are you putting it? Do you think you are going to command uh, uh, respect and confidence from the Zambian people. If you follow the whims of Aka in the HDM. That is the first challenge. To the judges indiv as individually and of course as an institution. Ramumba Marina. What legacy are you going to leave as the Chief Justice? Where you know it will stand written to say there was a time when there was this Chief Justice who followed what uh, uh, an, in, uh, an irresponsible, yes, an irresponsible president demanded. Then, secondly, it is yourselves, Zambian people. It is yourselves, Zambian people. Are you going to allow politicians to do as they please, to act? To take the country as if it's their personal property? Are you going to allow them? Where is our 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 resolve as a country? Where is our resolve as a country? Why did our forefathers you know fight for this democracy for us to just come and hand it over to Haka in the HDM to say do as you please? 8th July, 8th July, mark my words, 8th July, what are you going to do when these people are going to succumb to the pressure that is being waged on them? What are you going to do? Of course, me, I'm a person of, of, for, for peace, uh, you know that. I, um, I don't want people to get violent. I don't want people to suffer. Already we are seeing a police officer that lost two hands, you know, two hands because he was trying to throw a canister, a tear gas canister. We have one young person that died in Kenya. I don't want that situation. That is not what I stand for. But there should be a way that we should be able to express ourselves. There should be a way that we should be able to express ourselves so that those in government, they can hear us. There are many ways. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.